Imagine you got an AI avatar that can create content for you. Let's say you're camera shy, you don't speak English as a native language, or you don't have the equipment to record yourself. Now that no longer is a problem. With this tool that I'm about to show you, you can generate your own AI avatar. You can even clone yourself with it. So if you want to create your own YouTube channel, but you don't want to present it yourself, this is the perfect tool for you. Let me give you an example of what it looks like. And this is not the only thing this tool can do. It can even translate your own existing videos into another language while it also lip syncs your lips with the audio. Now the tool that I'm talking about is called Wondershare Verbo AI and you can get it as followed. You can click the link in the description or you can search for Wondershare Verbo and then this brings you to this page. Here you can get Wondershare Verbo AI and you can use it on your Windows laptop or you can use it online. For this example I will be using Verbo online but you can also download the mobile app. Once you've accessed Wondershare Verbo this is the dashboard that you will see. Now I will briefly walk you through how how it works. So here on the homepage, we can create an AI after video. We can also translate our videos with AI. We can make a photo talk with AI. I will show you more on that later. We can also turn text into speech and we also have AI video. Now, let me give you a few of the templates that they have available. So if you don't want to create your own avatar from scratch, then you can use these templates that are available. There are just so many different templates that you can use. For example, if you have an explainer video that you want to make, then you can simply select the one that you like from here. Let's say you run a technology channel and you want to use this, then you can use this one right there. Now, we also have this for nine by 16. So if you want to create either TikTok, Instagram or YouTube Shorts videos, then you can use this also. Underneath the video template tab, then you have the my creations tab and here you can see all the creations that you have made. Now let's start by creating our AI avatar video. So to do this, we click on this button right here and now we can choose our aspect ratio. I'm gonna go with landscape because I want to make a YouTube video. Now on the left hand side, you can see the AI avatars that they have available. You can scroll through it. They have so many different avatars available. Actually, if I go back to the homepage, here you can see all the avatars in a nice overview that are currently available. So with them, you can also choose like a fixed background and these have a background that is already in place or you can choose like anything like that where you can create a custom background behind it. Now let's go back to creating our avatar video and create the video. And here we can select the avatar again. Now the avatar that I like the most that I think works really good is this person right here, Gilia Business. Now for Gilia, if you search up her name, we can see that we also have different presenter modes as well. So here we have her from the front view and here we have her from a side angle. We also have her in a sports outfit, in a blogger outfit, and we also have Gilia Suite. So this is ideal for if you run a channel and you want to create different type of videos. So you aren't stuck to just one outfit. So for example, in this business outfit right here, she looks really suitable for creating a business video. But if I have a channel that is more about fitness, then I can choose this fitness outfit right here. It also all depends on what kind of background you're using with this. So by creating our avatar, let's go for this one right here. What we can do is we can click on her and then we can change her in size. So for example, if you just want to have her standing like right here, then you can move her around over there. We can also move her left and right, but I'm just gonna keep her straight like this. And then I want to make her a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna drag her over here. And now we have her filled up in the middle of the screen like this. Now, if you want to change the mode, so let's say you want to have a circle view, you can also do that. If you double click on this, then you can move the circle around. So you can adjust a little bit to show more or less of her body. Besides that, you can also adjust the position. So let's say you want to have her in the bottom right corner, then you put it right here. So for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead with putting her in the center again and making her a little bit bigger. And now we have it like this. Now we can change our background. Verbo AI comes with a bunch of different backgrounds. Some are animated, some aren't. And let me show you what they look like. So we have these popular black backgrounds right here. Um, you can use this one, for example, if you're feeling freaky, or let's go with the basic ones. Here you can do a green screen, which also works great if you, for example, do a video like I'm doing, 
and you want to have her as a screen recording. Now, if we move over to the simple background, then you can see these are just simpler backgrounds that you can also choose. And if we go with lifestyle, here are some of my favorite ones that I would like to use. So a background that looks really good is this one, for example. Here you can see her in presenter mode, it looks pretty good. But this one also would work really well if we position her a bit to the side, make her a bit smaller and then move her over to here. We can see it looks like she's on a ship. So this is also pretty cool. Now, other than that, we have a bunch of other different backgrounds that we can also use. And let me show you one that I like a lot. This one is pretty cool. This is in a business environment. Now, if you couldn't quite find the backgrounds that you want from the backgrounds that they have available, then you can also upload your own. So we do that by clicking on upload. And now we see here the backgrounds that we can use. So I have a few different ones. For example, I have a background that is like a home office with a gym next to it, then a regular home office, a park, a background that resembles a living room. So for this, let's go with the park. Now for the background that you choose, I recommend to blur the background a little bit because it makes your avatar stand out more. And now for this background, I would like to use like Gilia in sport mode because now she looks like she's running in the park. So this is a great way to adjust your avatar and to create different scenes for your videos. So after you've chosen your background, you can now adjust your video. We can do this by going over to text. And while we're in text, we can add, for example, a heading. And here we can write anything we want. We can also move our presenter to the side and we kind of can like create a slideshow where we have like, or let's say chapter one of our presenting thing, or we're presenting something like a business case, then we can type that right here and we can enter in all of our information over there. We can also within the text change the colors. So we have a lot of different options available. Besides that, we also have stickers where let's say if you wanted to create an ad, we can do a sticker, let's say we can do a sale and keep in mind, it isn't animated right now, but after you export it, it will be animated. So we have a bunch of different options available. We can also do, for example, this arrow. And then within the arrow itself, we can also change like the layers. We can change the animation. We can add an animation in there. And this way it will be animated after you export it. Besides that, if you want to spice it up even more, then you can also add some music in there. And adding in the music is pretty great to make it sound even better and make it look more professional. So if you found the music that you want to use, then you click on use. And now it will be underneath the video layer and you can also adjust the volume. So another cool feature that I want to share with you is the import section. Here you can import your video or you can import an image. So let's say, for example, you want to import an image. You click on it, then you select your image and now you click open. And here we have our image. We can edit it even further. So for example, we can crop it. Then we can click on confirm. And now our image is like this. We can move it around. And basically like this, you can generate a whole custom video or a whole custom like video presentation. After you've done all of that, you have changed your AI avatar. You have played around with the backgrounds and you've also made like some adjustments in terms of like stickers, text and all of that. Then you can start working on your text. So here we have the script that she will be saying and we can write any script that we want in here. This is the script that I've put in there. You can see the length of this script is 18 seconds long. We can also write a script with the help of AI. If we click on that, then we can say we want to shorten it. We want to expand it, make it more professional anything that we'd like. And with the help of AI, it does that for us. Now, I already like my text as it is, but let's say I want to do a voiceover in a different language. Now, the original language is English, and here we can select any language that we'd like. So let's say, for example, we want to have it in French. Now we hit apply automatically, and now it translates our text in France. So that's pretty cool if you want to translate your videos fast and easily. Before we watch the video, now we first have to select a voiceover. So if we click on voiceover, we have all of these different voiceovers available. Now I wrote the text in English, so I'm going to select English right here. And my AI avatar is a female, so I'm going to select female. Now these are the languages that we have available. 
So let's say we have this one, for example. Wondershare Verbo. Easy to use, no need to shoot. So that one sounds pretty good already, but you can also choose different accents. So let's say you want to have an Irish accent or an Australian accent, you can choose that. But the one that I like the most is this one, the classy one, and it sounds as follows. Wondershare Verbo. Easy to use, no need to shoot. Make international marketing video. So we're going with this one. We select it and now we hit select. And now our voice sounds like this. My name is Jane. I just replaced Dan. I am the new host of this channel. With me as your new host, I will focus on creating better content than Dan ever did. Thanks for your support and I hope to see you in the next video. So that sounded pretty good. Now we can export our video. And the way we do that is as follows. We simply click export. And now our video has been exported. And this generally takes a couple of minutes. And after that is done, you can download it. Now, while that is exporting, I wanted to show you a few other features that they have available. So for example, this video translate, this is a pretty cool tool if you ask me, because what you can do is you can simply upload your video and we're gonna select a video that we have. So while that is uploading, you select the language that you spoke in. So for this video, I spoke in English and then we can choose our target language. Now we can do any language that we'd like. So let's say I'm speaking English and I want to make it sound like Hindi. And now my English spoken video sounds like this in Hindi. Here is an example I am doing with If you are making YouTube short TikTok or Instagram reels. Honestly, I don't speak Hindi at all. So you got to correct me if it sounds correct. But I've tried it from English to Dutch and it sounds really good. It actually sounds like my voice also. Another cool feature that Verbo has is the talking photo. So what you can do with the talking photo is let's take a look at this one, for example. You can have a still image and it will make it seem like a talk. It will move the lips around. It will move the facial expression. And here are just a few examples. So this one is pretty cool as well. And yeah, you can even upload your own photo in there and then you can make it look like you're talking. So that's basically how you can create AI avatars with Verbo. Now, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this option? Do you like that you have the ability that you can create an own AI avatar? Or do you want to see more like generic videos? For me personally, I think this is a cool option to have, especially for those who are like camera shy. So if you want to try it out for yourself, then head over to Verbo AI. I will leave the link for that in the description down below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.